everybody, you're welcome to this Microsoft Flight Simulator video. Today we're going to have a look at a couple of different plugins that should enhance your experience when using the sim. There's no particular order to these, so we'll just pretty much start off here. This is the Pushback Helper version 2. Basically, it gives you some control over what direction the pushback peoples are going to move your airplane. So you can download it, the links are in the description below. When you have it installed, it goes into its own folder outside of the sim, which is handy, um, and it uses Sim Connect to interact with the simulator. So when you call up your pushback, which is by default the left shift key, and press and hold it along with the letter P for Papa. As soon as you do that, the pushback cart will usually go to the front of your aircraft and it'll automatically start pushing you backwards like so. If we were now to hit the page up key, you'll see this new icon appear and this is the pushback helper. And it's only a matter then of saying what direction you want to move. Really super handy. A lot of the time with the sim, by default, they're just gonna push you straight back. It's not very realistic, especially if you're in any of the tube liners. So the links are in the description. It's a fairly straightforward, simple, but very effective plugin. Next up, we have the Liveries Mega Pack Manager. This add-on is super, super handy. Instead of having to download each and every single livery there is, this makes it very, very simple. To start, you click on available liveries. You can pick or choose the type of aircraft you want. So, you know, this will give you a list of all the aircraft that there are liveries for. It'll tell you how many are available. So just as an example, I've downloaded one for the, um, for the Aer Lingus in the A320. So we can scroll down, we can find the Aer Lingus. If you click down, it'll give you an idea, the version of it, and you should see a thumbnail as well. Once you install it, it only takes a couple of seconds and you can go back into your sim. And there's your new livery. Really super handy. It's a great way to keep control of what's installed and what's not installed. Uh, and the fact that they have a preview, it's super handy. And finally, we have a look at Sim Toolkit Pro, essentially an EFB, which is your electronic flight bag. It has everything from flight planning, moving maps. There's even some streaming tools here if you're into making your own videos. So we can go down through it. We have your dashboard. Bear in mind, most of my details are empty. I've only started using it. The live map mode, really, really handy. It'll show you various traffic from different um, inputs, be it from online ATC or different simulators. I can, I can edit this map to make it look pretty much any way you'd like. I like using on the dark screen. It's just easier to move around. You'll see these couple of green dots. You can tell this program where your custom scenery is located. So any of your paid add-ons, they should show up in here. It just makes flight planning that little bit easier. In flight planning itself, it is connected to SimBrief, so you can import and export your plans uh, to and from this. Uh, you can also just do a basic route as well, and you can search by an airline. For example, I'm in an A320 in France, uh, at such an airport, well, who flies and where do they go? It'll find all that for you. Uh, it also has your logbook, your fleet, you can add in your own aircraft, your flight schedule, landing reports, it'll tell you at what you know velocity you hit the, the decks at. Tools and data, really handy, it'll give you your checklists, wind calculators, uh, bits and bobs to do with your approach systems as well. The streaming overlays, and also there are a number of commands uh, that your chat can use, which are always super, super handy. Uh, and it just connects flawlessly in with your fly simulator. So Sim Toolkit Pro, it's free, it's absolutely fantastic, and they're constantly updating it. Um, and again, you know, you can have a look at different aircraft, no matter of hovering over them, see who's doing what. Super, super handy. Don't leave home without it. <laughs> So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you do like it, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Uh, you might even consider subscribing. I live stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 8 p.m. Irish time right here on YouTube and also over on Twitch. Uh, if you like this video, let me know in the comments section below. Let's see if we can do a few more of our favorite add-ons for the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Until next time, guys, safe flying and we'll see you soon.